what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys today you want to know why because now that all of our walls are maxed out we need to get higher up in the levels in the leagues so that we can get ourselves some good loot bonuses uh and some good gold and some good dark elixir that's what we're looking for because we got to upgrade all this stuff so um, I've got a new base as you can see on the screen right here. Looks pretty freaking sweet. I've got it pulled up on ClashOfClansBuilder.com right now, guys. If you don't know what that is, check it out. It's such an awesome site to practice building, uh, to practice building your bases on. It's so much easier than just doing it in the game. Um, if you search for Gaming with Molt on there, you'll find all my past base builds uh, of the past like month or so. I just started uh, saving them on there, so you can check those out. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into this. So obviously we're trying to protect our town hall as we push up, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our town hall right there in the middle uh, And then next we are going to bring in some heavy splash damage guys. So we're gonna bring our uh, <clears throat> Our mortars right in here um, Around the center of the base and as you guys can see this whole little ring goes all the way Around the base kind of like a windmill if you will with some spring traps and whatnot in there to mess up anybody that is walking around inside. Next, we're going to bring in our air defenses because I'm actually getting attacked by an okay amount of uh, air troops right now. Uh, and it's affecting me. It's affecting the defense of the base. So we're going to make sure that those are in there as well. Uh, I've got my dark elixir in the middle because I want to protect it. If you guys are in uh, a different uh guild that's like super active or whatnot, then go ahead and throw your clan castle in where your dark elixir is. I don't request troops that much, so that's why mine is not in there. Next, we're going to bring in our wizard towers, guys. Uh, up here to up, up here towards the top, we've got the uh, our king in place of that wizard tower when it comes to the symmetry of the base. So there's the core of the base. You can see the traps. You can see everything in there. There's a lot of defenses in there. <clears throat> so troops are just going to walk around, get wrecked as they get up in there uh, and try and do things. So next, we're going to go ahead and bring in our archer towers. We're going to have those protecting our air defenses, like I always say. Since they are air defenses as well, archer towers are, you want them to help protect your other defenses. It's very important, guys, not to just protect um, the defenses that you have or not to just protect your loot or your town hall, but you need to protect your defenses because your defenses are protecting everything. Does that make sense? So it sounds kind of weird, but you need your defenses to protect each other uh, so that they can live longer, do more damage, kill more of the attacking people, and then you should be good to go from there so definitely make sure that you guys pay attention to that kind of stuff when you uh, build bases because it may seem a little bit weird but it is definitely very very important uh, for you to build your base in a manner where it protects uh, what you want it to protect obviously but a lot of times that falls to the wayside to people so we're gonna go ahead and bring in some of our cannons now guys uh, we've got uh, on either side you can see we've got a little entryway right here a little entryway right here to mess with some people as they deploy their troops. Um, so we have archer towers up in this one. We're going to go ahead and bring in a couple of bombs as well right here. Right here. And then we're going to throw in an air bomb right there all the way around just so that we get a good amount of coverage on the base. Let's go ahead and bring in one of our gold storages right here. One of our elixir storages right here. So people are probably going to be attacking from this side of the base for sure. Um, so that's one reason why I have one of my Teslas on this side as well because people are going to see this loot and they're going to want to come after it. So they are definitely going to be attacking the base from this side. Uh, let's keep on working our way around. So we're going to throw in this other cannon right here. And then once again, guys, we're going to bring in a gold storage, a elixir storage, and then a dark elixir drill right in there. Um, <clears throat> now people are going to attack those areas and I'm perfectly fine with that because... Um, but I don't know just because I'm okay with them stealing my loot because that's not what I'm trying to protect You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our stuff So we've got a cannon right here cannon right here And we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the bottom with the bomb the bomb and the air mine And then at each one of these guys in the entrance We're gonna go ahead throw a little spring trap right there throw a little spring trap right here So if some giants come in or whatever we're gonna knock three of them off same with hog riders or anything like that and we're also going to throw a giant bomb right there. Come at me. <laughs> and then we're going to throw a little mini bomb there also. Um, and then we'll do the same up here at the top with another giant bomb and another little mini bomb. Actually, I think I'm going to bring this other mini bomb. Uh, let's throw these in the inside just to help us out when it comes to 
defending these corners. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in this one right over here as well. Let's go ahead and finish this little uh, area right down here that we totally forgot about. Bring in another gold mine, and then out right now. This is what I was talking about. So my clan castle is right here. I don't really use uh, my clan castle. I don't request troops that much because I don't uh, donate too much uh, when it comes to this base. I kind of just get on, push, and I know that eventually I am going to have to request more and donate more so that I can get further up. But um, just not too active in the clan side of things because uh, this clan hasn't been too active for a while. So. I'm just kind of hanging out on it, doing my own thing, and uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and bring in uh, this Tesla right here. We'll throw another Tesla in up here as well, and that pretty much covers the layout of the base, as you guys can see right there. Um, we'll go ahead and bring in some of our traps. So we're going to get a skeleton trap right here, and a skeleton trap right here. Where's our other giant bomb? Our other giant bomb's just hanging out. We might just we might just throw that right there, honestly. <laughs> come at me. Somebody's going to come at it from down here and get absolutely wrecked by what we've got going on. So we have one air bomb right there, one seeking air bomb right there, seeking air mine right here, and air bomb right there. And then where do we have? No. All right, so we're all out of our bombs. We don't have any more of that stuff to deal with. Now let's go ahead and we'll bring in our army camps as usual. And right here, right here, and right here, just all the way around the base. And then like we always do with the rest of our things, we're going to alternate. So uh, loot right there, barrack, and then loot. Come on. And then we'll do loot right here in between that. We'll go ahead, throw in another one, barrack, because we do want to protect as much uh, of our loot as possible, obviously, but that isn't our main goal. Our main goal is to protect our town hall from people uh, attacking. So we'll go ahead and throw this right there. Keep on working our way around. Gold, come on gold, gold, and then spell factory, gold, and then we've got barracks all down this side right here. Can somebody spawn, somebody can spawn in right there. Can we scoot, we'll scoot this a little bit closer. There we go. And then we'll do builder's hut, builder's hut. Almost done, and builder's hut. Build our site right there just to fool some people. And then we'll go ahead, throw our surrender flag in the corner. Say, hello, friends. I'm surrendering, but not really. And then we'll go one, two, three, four. Save. Okay. Set as active. Yes, I would like to set as active. We are in Crystal 3 right now, guys. And uh, we're just going to need to sit down and grind it out for about two hours with some raiding and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys like it. If you guys want to try out the base, definitely do so. There's a little screenshot you guys can try. Make sure y'all guys leave. I just said y'all guys like 15 times. <laughs> make sure y'all uh, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on them, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.